Sets allow you to open a collection of documents as if they were a single file. With sets, you can navigate through multiple files seamlessly without merging them into one document. Sets are saved as a .bex file, which is unique to Bluebeam. Before creating a set, it is a good idea to make a clean copy of the folder or drawings you plan to include. When a set is created, the drawings are permanently altered when metadata is applied. So having a backup ensures you can always return to the original files. To create a set, open the Sets panel. Click on Sets menu, then select New Set. A dialog box may appear with a brief description of sets. Click OK to dismiss it. The Set dialog box will open. To add documents, click the Add drop-down menu and choose from Add Files, Add Open Files, Add Folders, or Add Folders including subfolders. Then select the files or folders you want to include. If you need to remove a file from the set, simply select the file and click Remove. This removes the drawing from the set without deleting the original file. By default, Use Relative Paths is checked. This ensures that any files in the set can still be found, even if they're moved. Remember, Sets doesn't create new files. It simply links to the existing ones. Keeping the Relative Paths checked makes your set file highly portable, as the file links will stay intact. You can also choose to show the paths of each sheet for reference. In the Options dialog box, you can customize how review sorts, categorizes, and tags your files. Under Sorting, you can decide what file information to display, what criteria review uses to sort by, and the order in which files are sorted. You can also adjust how review handles revision files, such as whether to use standard revision indicators, stack revisions on previous versions, or manage current and previous revisions. In the Categories tab, you can define how your sheets are categorized. Review comes with a pre-populated list of standard categories focused on construction. The Categorize By option determines what information Review uses to assign each sheet to a category. By default, Review categorizes files based on the sheet number. If you want to change this, just click the Categorize By dropdown and select a different option. To add new categories and filters, click the green plus sign on the left. Fill in the category and filter fields, then click OK. The order of the categories reflects how they'll appear in the completed set. To rearrange them, click and drag a category or use the blue arrow keys on the left. If you need to delete a category, select the row and click the red X. If you use highly customized categories, you can save your category list as an XML file, edit it in Excel, and then import it back into the set settings. Under Tags, you can define specific information to help identify and organize items. To add a new tag, click the green plus sign on the left. You can create a custom tag or use one of the default options. Once you're happy with your settings, click OK, then OK again. Review will automatically assign categories and prompt you to select where the tag information is located in each file. The Add Tags dialog box will open, asking you to define the first tag. If needed, you can skip a page, a document, or even an entire tag if needed. Click Select, zoom into the sheet title, and draw a rectangle around it. A preview of the tag will appear, and you can reselect the area or skip it if necessary. Click OK when you're satisfied, and repeat the process for any additional tags. Once the tagging process is complete, a dialog box will appear listing all the documents and their tags. If you need to edit a tag, select it and make changes in the text box at the top, or use AutoMark to select the correct region on the page. When satisfied with your tags, click OK. If you're working with revisions, you may need to rematch the pages. Once everything looks good, click OK again. Your set will appear in the Sets panel. Click the arrow next to a category name to collapse or expand the sheet. 
Files with revisions will have an arrow under the thumbnail, allowing you to view previous revisions. You'll also see a superseded stamp by default to remind you that it is no longer the current version. From the Sets menu bar, you can quickly add files, including revisions, to the set, edit tags, or search through the entire set. From the Sets menu dropdown, you can save the set, print the set, either in full or by specific categories, publish the set, or export a drawing log.